In the quaint town of Crestwood, where high school rivalries ran deep and social hierarchies were well established, a new girl named Emily was about to disrupt the delicate balance. With her arrival, little did anyone know that she would become the unlikely savior of the failing cheerleading team and lead them to a surprising victory on the national stage. Emily had moved to Crestwood with her family due to her father's job transfer. The timing couldn't have been worse for her. Starting a new school in the middle of the academic year was challenging enough, but doing so as an outsider in a town with a tight-knit community made it even more daunting. As Emily stepped into Crestwood High School, she couldn't help but notice the curious glances and whispered conversations that followed her every move. Her unique sense of style and quiet demeanor set her apart from the typical Crestwood student, making her an easy target for gossip and judgment. The failing cheerleading team, known as the Crestwood Cyclones, was in dire need of a miracle. Their routines lacked coordination, enthusiasm was at an all-time low, and they were the laughingstock of the entire school. Little did they know that Emily harbored a secret talent. She was a skilled gymnast with a passion for dance. During the first week at Crestwood High, Emily was approached by the desperate cheerleading captain, Olivia. Olivia, recognizing Emily's agility and grace, pleaded with her to join the team. Emily hesitated, not wanting to draw more attention to herself, but she couldn't ignore the genuine desperation in Olivia's eyes. Reluctantly, Emily agreed to join the team, but on one condition, she wanted to do it her way. Olivia, desperate for any improvement, agreed without hesitation. Emily's unorthodox methods of training quickly raised eyebrows among the cheerleaders, but as they started to see results, skepticism turned into admiration. Emily introduced innovative routines, combining gymnastics with dance in ways the Crestwood Cyclones had never seen before. She emphasized teamwork, trust, and dedication, qualities that had been sorely lacking. Slowly but surely, the team began to transform under Emily's guidance. As news of the team's improvement spread, the town couldn't help but take notice. The once unpopular new girl was now the talk of Crestwood, but this time it was for all the right reasons. The Cyclones' newfound spirit and energy were contagious, spreading through the entire school like wildfire. The road to the national cheerleading competition was tough, but Emily's determination and the team's hard work paid off. The Crestwood Cyclones, once the underdogs, earned their place at the national stage. The town, initially skeptical of Emily's impact, rallied behind their once-failing cheerleading team, embracing the possibility of victory. At the national competition, the Cyclones faced fierce competition from schools with long-standing cheerleading traditions. However, Emily's innovative choreography, combined with the newfound unity of the team, set them apart. The Crestwood Cyclones dazzled the judges and the audience, earning thunderous applause and standing ovations. In an unexpected turn of events, Crestwood High School's cheerleading team, once on the brink of extinction, emerged victorious on the national stage. The town, once divided by cliques and rivalries, came together to celebrate the triumph of the Cyclones, led by the once unpopular new girl, Emily. As Emily basked in the glory of their victory, she couldn't help but reflect on her journey. She had gone from being an outsider to a catalyst for change, proving that sometimes all it takes is one person to believe in the potential of others to bring about a remarkable transformation. The story of Emily and the Crestwood Cyclones became a legend in the halls of Crestwood High School. It taught the students the importance of embracing diversity, the power of teamwork, and the impact one person can have on an entire community. And as for Emily, she found not only acceptance but genuine friendships that would last a lifetime.